What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sakia. I post weekly videos about fitness, nutrition, and everything in between. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, please subscribe and like this video to support me. So you know, the thing that I love about Trader Joe's is everybody has like their own go-to items. Everybody has like their fan favorites. And there's like an endless sea of things that we want to try. And I'm a big fan of searching Trader Joe's hashtag on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube even and just seeing what other people like, the recipes that they make. So I figured for today, I would do my top 10 items that I get from Trader Joe's. Full disclaimer, you guys have seen some of this in my previous Trader Joe's YouTube videos, what I eat in a day. But who knows, some of these items might surprise you, so stay tuned. So first up, y'all already know what it is. We drinking. I don't know how to pronounce um, this first word, but this is basically a Merlot. Merlot is actually one of my favorite types of red wine. You don't really find a lot of Merlots that are semi-sweet because they are typically like a dry, full body type of wine. But this one is so good. I could drink the whole bottle in like 10 minutes, which I'm gonna try not to do tonight. <laughs> Let me see if I got the receipt. And it's only $5.99, so. <laughs> By the way, these are in no particular order, but I mean, wine would be number one because it's alcohol, right? <laughs> All right, so next we have these Soft Bites Mini Almond Biscottis. These are basically like cookies, and these are in no way, shape, or form healthy, so I do not want to give off that impression, but a serving size is three pieces, 150 calories, 11 grams of sugar, so definitely something I wouldn't have often, maybe like once or twice a month. All right, next we have green beans. You know, I'm a health nut, so I had to sneak some vegetables in here for y'all, but you know, I said this in my last video, vegetables are just not my thing. I eat them because I have to, not because I like them. These go really good if you prepare them right. A little butter, some salt, some pepper, some garlic, maybe even a little thyme. Goes good with anything. Some meatloaf, fish, some chicken. I'm not a fan of like canned green beans or canned vegetables in general. But then also, you know, the fresh ones, they don't last as long, so. These will get you right. Moving down the frozen food aisle, we have the seafood paella. Let me tell you something. I have been to Spain, and when I tell you that this is a pretty decent paella for something to be in a bag for $5, this seafood paella has rice with shrimp, calamari, mussels, and red bell peppers. Really easy to cook. You just pop it in a pan with a little bit of oil, um, and once the shrimp is cooked, is it opaque? Is that a word, babe? Opaque? Yeah, basically in about five minutes, it's done. So yeah, if you're having some friends over, you wanna get a little fancy, heat this up and put it in a little tin pan. You got yourself a girl's night. Okay, we got some more frozen food. Honestly, Trader Joe's got the frozen food gym. I would not be in the frozen food section at Walmart or Kroger for this long, but then, I'll be like, okay, let me try this. Hash browns, also in one of my full day of eating. Let me tell you something. If you like McDonald's hash browns, which literally everybody in the world does, I don't know anybody that doesn't, these taste just like it without all the oil. One patty is 120 calories, 15 carbs, which is really good for a carbohydrate, six grams of fat, okay, and one gram of protein. Obviously, you're not gonna get protein with your potatoes, but again, this is really good. I like to top this with some avocados and some eggs and some salsa. Got you a little snack. I am very, very obsessed with these oven-ready breaded cod fillets. Far cooked premium Alaskan cod fillets coated with seasoned batter and crispy bread crumbs. But these are the closest thing I'm gonna get to healthy when it comes to a fish fry in my auntie's house. I like to put these in the oven at 400 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Top it with some mustard and some hot sauce. Maybe even get you a little okra from Trader Joe's. This is it. All right, next up we have the Trader Joe's creamy spinach and artichoke dip. This again is nothing that's healthy by any means. It's just super good. I love getting spinach dip for appetizers when I'm out to eat with my friends. And this is something that I'm able to get and also kind of control the portion of how much I'm getting when I'm able to heat it up at home. Surprisingly, this spinach dip tastes better when it's heated up in the microwave. And that is actually the suggested way to cook it. It doesn't have any other cooking instructions. So if it says microwave, like it's already 
10 stars in my book. All you have to do is put it in a bowl, high for two minutes, stir, and then heat it up again for two more minutes, and it's ready. And of course, what is a dip without a chip? I love these pita chips. They are reduced guilt. They have other flavors too, such as multi-grain, but this is just the regular pita chips with sea salt. A serving size is about nine chips, 130 calories. Again, okay, but it has four grams of protein, which is pretty good for some type of chip. Usually variations of chips don't have any type of protein. So four grams of protein for nine chips is actually pretty good. And I like to eat these with not only my spinach dip, but salsa, if I'm having some chicken salad, tuna salad, these are good for dipping. Or if you just want to eat them regular, like regular crackers or chips, I highly recommend it. All right, contestant number nine. Trader Joe's corn and wheat tortillas. Soft yellow corn tortillas with a unique blend of corn and wheat. That seems very redundant to say on a package. Low in fat with 16 grams of whole grains per serving. One tortilla is only 90 calories. One gram of fat, which is really good. 16 grams of carbohydrate and five grams of protein. And typically when you're eating a taco or something with a tortilla shell, you're gonna put meat in it or beans in it, which is more protein. So five grams of protein in these small little tortillas is amazing. And not only that, they taste so good. I've just had these regular melted with cheese on them for like little mini quesadillas. I've had these with chicken, I've had them with fish. Honestly, like when I go to a regular grocery store and I get another form of tortilla, I'm just like, these do not taste as good. I should've went to Trader Joe's. I would even compare it to be the perfect mix between a corn tortilla and a flour tortilla, but with wheat. Yeah. They do expire quickly though, so I definitely recommend putting them in the freezer if you're not going to eat them within the week that you buy them. And the grand finale. Now, I didn't really want to save this one for last because it's kind of boring, but I figured I must do due diligence to this item. Do do. I just said do do. Item number 10, which you have seen on probably 80 of my videos, is their instant oatmeal. I'm not exaggerating when I say I eat these every morning topped with some bananas, some strawberries or some raspberries, some pumpkin seeds, and some almonds. I do believe that my fitness journey has been successful because of the habits that I've made. So me having this oatmeal every morning keeps me on track for the entire day. It's made with whole grain oats, quinoa, flax seeds, and chia seeds. It's gluten-free. Popping in a bowl with some water and microwave it for one minute. Put a little cinnamon and almond milk on it to make it that right texture. And you got yourself some breakfast. Most important meal of the day, serving it up Gary's way. All right, is there anything else? Nope. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my 10 favorite go-to items at Trader Joe's. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support me. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to try from Trader Joe's or any other videos you want me to make. And I will see you guys next time.